Hello everyone. Good morning all of you. Welcome to you all in today's 6th online lecture of chapter number 1 Building with Bricks. This is our last session of this chapter. So, today we are going to study again unitary method but in this unitary method we will solve some sums regarding pillar and bricks. Let us see how is pillar formed. This is known as brick. Then this is the length of brick. This is breadth of brick. And this is known as height of brick. This all things we already studied. When we are putting these all bricks one over each other, it becomes the pillar. So now you know how the pillar is formed. So this known as pillar and this is known as height of the pillar. Please understand and remember these all things because these all things are very useful to us to solve the sums regarding pillar and bricks. Let us see one another sum. A pillar is made by arranging 30 bricks one over other. Here we have to make one pillar and to make that pillar we are using 30 bricks. And if the height of each brick is 10 cm then what will be the height of the pillar? So here from the height of one brick we have to find out the height of pillar. Let us see how we solve this sum. This is the things which given. The height of one brick is 10 cm. And when we are putting 30 bricks one over each other, it becomes the pillar. And in this pillar, we are using 30 bricks. So the things which given, we have to write down left hand side in unitary method. And the things which we have to find out that we have to write down on right hand side. So bricks that is given that's why we have to write down left hand side and we have to find out the height and that height we have to find out in centimeter that's why we have to write down centimeter on right hand side. So the height of one brick is equal to 10 cm then what is the height of 30 bricks question mark now the number which return in the cross we have to do the multiplication and the number which is remaining that we have to write down in the division so one we have to write down in the division so we can say here 30 multiplied by 10 upon 1 is equal to 300 centimeter or we can say if we want to give the answering meter then we know that 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter then 300 centimeter is equal to 3 meter therefore we can say that the height of the pillar is 300 centimeter or we can say the height of the pillar is 3 meter Let us see one another sum. The height of the pillar is 8 meter. Here they were given the total height of a pillar and the total height of that pillar is 8 meter. If the height of 100 bricks arranged one over other in it is 2 meter. So here they were given this height 2 meter of 100 bricks. Then how many total bricks are used in the pillar? 
so here we have to find out the number of bricks whenever they have to make the pillar of 8 cm 8 meter at that time how many total bricks are used in that pillar let us see the things which given the things which given is height is 2 meter whose height is 2 meter the height of 100 brick is 2 meter they already given now after that they were given the height of the pillar is 8 meter and we have to find out the number of bricks how many bricks we are using to make the 8 meters of pillar so the things which given is height so we have to write down height on left hand side and we have to find out the number of bricks that's why we have to write down bricks on right hand side so 2 meter is equal to 100 bricks so 8 meter is equal to question mark so here the number which written in the cross we have to do the multiply and the number which written alone the number which is remaining that we have to write down in the division so we can say that here we have to do the multiply of 8 and 100 and 2 we have to write down in the denominator in the division so our equation like this 8 multiplied by 100 upon 2 is equal to 8 multiplied by 100 it becomes 800 divided by 2 when we are doing the division of 800 and 2 it becomes 400 so 400 bricks are using to make any of the pillar therefore total bricks are needed to make a pillar is 400 so we can say in this 8 meter of the pillar machines are using 400 bricks let us see one another example if the price of one brick of type 1 is rupees 8 and the price of one brick of type 2 is rupees 10 then what is the total price of 500 500 bricks of both the types let us see type 1 brick the cost of type 1 brick is rupees 8 and we have to find out the cost of 500 bricks so the cost of one brick is rupees 8 so what is the cost of 500 bricks the number which written in the cross we have to do the multiply and the number which is remaining that is we have to write down in the division so we can say here 500 multiplied by 8 divided by 1 so the cost of 500 bricks is 4000 now the same thing we have to do in type 2 this is the type 2 and the cost of type 2 brick is rupees 10 again we have to find out the value of 500 bricks but this 500 bricks of type 2 so the number which written in the cross we have to do the multiply so here we have to do the multiply of 500 multiplied by 10 and then after in the division we have to write down 1 so 500 multiplied by 10 upon 1 so we can say what is the cost of type 2 bricks that is the rupees 5000 here our sum is not over because we have to find out the total price of both type so here what we have to do we have to do the addition of total cost of type 1 
and type 2. So here we can say the cost of type 1 is rupees 4000 plus cost of type 2 is equal to rupees 5000. The total cost is 4000 plus 5000 is equal to 9000. So we can say here the total cost of both type of bricks is rupees 9000. Let us see one another example. If the price of one brick of type 1 is rupees 12 and the price of one brick of type 2 is rupees 8, then what is the total price of 1500 1500 it means we have to find out the total cost of type 1 brick and that is 1500 and also we have to find out the cost of 1500 bricks but this 1500 bricks of type 2 let us see type 1 the cost of type 1 is rupees 12 so the bricks the cost of one bricks is rupees 12 Therefore, what is the cost of 1500 bricks? Question mark. We have to do the multiplication of 1500 multiplied by 12 and in the division we have to write down 1. So the multiplication of 1500 multiplied by 12 is equal to rupees 18,000. So this is the cost of type 1 brick. Now let us see type 2 bricks so the cost of type 2 brick is rupees 8 the same bricks and rupees the cost of one brick of type 2 is equal to rupees 8 what is the cost of 1500 brick question mark do the multiplication of 1508 divided by 1 so 1500 multiply by 8 upon 1 is equal to what is the cost the total cost is rupees 12,000 now again we have to find out the total price of both the type so we can say here cost of type 1 is equal to 18,000 and cost of type 2 is equal to rupees 12,000 so we can say the total cost of both type of bricks is rupees 30,000. Therefore, the total cost of both the types of bricks is rupees 30,000. Let us see the last question of this chapter. If a bullock cart carries 2,000 bricks and a camel cart carries 4000 bricks then how many total bricks are carried by two such bullock carts and three such camel carts here bullock cart how many bricks bullock cart carry 2000 so one cart is equal to 2000 bricks then we have to find out the total bricks are carried by two such bullock carts. So two cart is equal to question mark. So here do the multiplication of two and two thousand and one we have to write down in the division. So two thousand multiplied by two is upon one is equal to four thousand bricks. This four thousand bricks carried by two such bullock cart. Now the same thing we have to do for camel cart one camel cart carries 4000 bricks so how many camel carts here they were given three so three camel carts carry how many bricks question mark do the multiplication of 3 and 4000 divided by 1 so 3 multiply by 4000 or 4000 multiplied by 3 this both are same divided by 1 so 4000 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12,000 bricks 
So three camel carts carry 12,000 bricks. Now again we have to find out the total bricks carried by both. Both means by bullock cart and by camel cart. Bricks carried by bullock cart is equal to 4000 and bricks carried by camel cart is equal to 12000. So 4000 plus 12000 is equal to 16000. So we can say the total bricks in both cart is 16000. I hope you all understand these all topics, these all sums very easily. So please do more and more practice to solve this kind of sums and do hard work. Thank you all of you.